Welcome to episode 20 of the Subnautica series, and as you can see, we are out and about uh, in kind of a continuation of where we left off last time. So, did the sound just go weird? Everything okay? Looks like it. Okay. Um, so, don't remember what I was saying. But, here we are. We are out and about and exploring. Kind of trying to see what we can see. That, I think, is the Grand Reef. But I cannot really go far out there because my ship will get crushed. <laughs> um, and I need oxygen and there's no way I can... Is that the island up there? Like so. So that's the floating island. Caution. Passing Ooh. safe depth. Uh, so I think this stuff is what's left of, you know, this is where the big island used to be. So all the floaters took it up there. So, that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we can find stuff to scan. And thankfully the sun actually does affect how this area looks and makes it a bit brighter. <laughs> if I'd known that, I probably would have waited till day. Um, but, oh well, here we are. <laughs> I uh, dropped the uh, the seed for that guy that I got. I'm just kind of running low on- there is a lot of spade fish. I kind of ran out- I'm running out of room. Uh, so I'd rather be able to pick up useful stuff opposed to just seeds. That goes down there so far. I cannot wait to be able to build the moon pool so I can help with the uh, crushing depth of this, I think. At least I think you can Caution. fix that. Passing safe depth. I hear a reef back, but I do not see a reef back. Which is impressive because they're really, really big. <laughs> so, like I said, I believe this is. Warning. Maximum uh, depth reach. Sorry, All sorry. Damage imminent. The sparse reef. I don't know what's out here. Besides, not much. Caution. Passing safe you are so demanding. Is that uh, part of the blood kelp or not? That might be just part of the Grand Reef. Oh, what are you? You look awful pointy. Are you gonna hurt me? Spiked horn grass. Looks like a really mean version of aloe vera. <laughs> So I bet it hurts to get up close. No, I'm not going to test it. Uh, but it doesn't look like it shoots you. Like the uh, those other guys do. Limestone. So we got the- oh no. I feel like we continue and continue to- oh, normal. So I think you can just scan anything now. Which is unfortunate because I usually use the- <clears throat> like that symbol to see if I've scanned these things for the codex. But if all of them can be now scanned to see if they're healthy, it's a little unfortunate. Oh, it's just so far down there, isn't it? Anything down there? Alright, let's get... Caution. Passing safe yep. depth. We do that. Alright, let's leave it here. Go a little swimming. Seriously? Did you find something else to be doing? No, you gotta follow me around. Oh, I don't like knowing he's out there. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Hello? Nah. Good. That'll show you. Think about coming and bothering me and you run away. <laughs> we won't mention the fact that I ran away first. More of those little membrane trees. I'm trying to try to see if I can find any kind of wreck or anything like that. But I don't know that we will on the edge right here. 
do, I might head back. And I'll let you know if anything cool happens on the way. So here we are, back at the base. Of course. Of course you gotta be loud as soon as I start talking. Jeez. So, in the time that you were gone, where I was gone, everyone will look at it, I scanned one of those rock grubs and got nothing from it. Just learned that it was not infected. So, that was, uh, pointless. I- hello. I saw the tail of a reaper leviathan, so that was terrifying. It was like well off the distance and like if you look back at the footage you can't even see it so I stopped going that direction. <laughs> uh, I popped into the mushroom forest, didn't find anything worth of note there. Found a hole in the ground over there with like a bright pink ball that glows but you can't scan it and I just got shot with needles so again wasn't really worth it. So change of plans. As you can see I've got all our batteries nice and charged up. So that's good. And then I've got the materials for two things. First off, a new or a second air tank. So we are at 105 now. Uh, let's see. I'm curious if it actually affects- it. okay it does definitely. So now we have 105. And then the other thing I wanted to do was the radiation suit. So let's get us some lead. Which I believe is in this locker. Too lead. So, uh, and grab the radiation suit. Because I'm heading down to that base in the, um, the jelly caves. The jelly, sh what is it, jelly shroom caves? I'm going down there, I'm going to get that base. It, uh, happens to be kind of close. Alright, cool. Well, Pull that off, put that on. So now we have our gloves, radiation suit, and a radiation helmet. Stick the rebreather here. I like our gloves. So, uh, next time I pop in, I should have found the uh, entrance to the cave that'll lead right down to the base. So, I'll be back. And we're back, and as you can see, we're much closer to the aurora than I'm comfortable with, but I believe this here is the entrance to this, uh, to the jelly shrooms that we're looking for. Uh, normally I would be being radiated quite heavily, but, you know, we just made a suit so that wasn't the case. <laughs> so, let's head down and see if this is right. Uh, I don't wanna. There's a there's a jelly shroom right there, and as you can see, there is definitely a crab snake in it. Oh, there it is. Just popped up. Caution, passing uh, safe depth. So let's get let's head straight this way for ooh. Going down a little bit. Scoot, 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 scoot. Get as close to the base as we can. Because, whoa, simmer down, sea moth. Because we gotta go down there uh, on our own. We can't use our uh, sea moth to go any further. <sighs> One more meter and uh, it'll be crushing depth. So, here we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Here we are. And I believe there is a PDA here. Integrating new PDA data. Good to hear. And then I think there's one down here. Good. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, so that's half our oxygen. Whew, this is gonna be quite the, the adventure, isn't it? So we'll pop in. Try not to move the sea moth. Get some more oxygen and we're gonna go down again. We're gonna head in this time. We're gonna wanna try to be careful. Loompole fragment. Oh thank god. 
I don't know how- okay, two. So these guys hurt quite a bit. Let's give it a, a scan. You can look at all of these PDAs and stuff at a later time. Good, good, good. Oh god, it's good. Grab that PDA. Nuclear reactor fragment. So we need three of the- ooh, water filtration station! Super, super excited about that. Come on, faster, faster, faster. We got this, right? Oh, I don't know if we do. Don't get stuck! Oh god. Oxygen. No, 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 no! Oh! I could not believe we made it. <laughs> that was freaking close, wasn't it? <laughs> Grab some water. Oh man. Oh, that was... That was close. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get the rest of this base. <laughs> Alright. And... We go! Well, we aren't gonna get it if we get lost and turned about, will we? Alright. So we're gonna scoot past this guy. Hopefully he doesn't get us again. Nothing in here needs scanned. Oop, a new PDA. Grab that. Oop. Power cell charger is something I definitely want. So I will probably start cutting out uh, my trips for air. Just because- oh, Man, I have got to stop hitting that. I'm gonna be doing lots of trips, and you don't need to see that, so... So it looks like there's some out here. There's another moon pool fragment. Hopefully that crab snake doesn't come out of there. Because we'll be a little hosed. Okay, so we've got the, the moon pool. Our cell charger. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that at all. I saw his tail. I saw his tail. Ooh. <sighs> this is quite the rush. <laughs> Do you see that thing? I'm gonna try not to move the cyclops. Right there is a thing. I don't know if it's something I can scan. So I guess we'll go down and see. Hopefully he doesn't come out again. For a minute, at least. Don't want to get hit by those. I see his tail. Please don't get mad at me. Are you trying to- well I guess we'll scan the jelly shroom while we're right next to it. Sounds like he's trying to bite me but uh, he's stuck. So you know I'm not gonna complain about that situation. <laughs> Even if it is sound, uh, still scary. Nuclear reactor fragment. Thirty seconds. All right, so let's go get in here. Okay, let's see if we can get this in time. I don't think we can, but I'm gonna try. This is in a further back room. Got this PDA, and now we gotta book it. Ugh. This would be much easier if, like, it wasn't so hard to get through doors. Oh. Thirty seconds. Oh, where is our oxygen? Oh god, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> We're really good at pushing this, aren't we? <laughs> um. So, I think there's a PDA in that right there and there's some there might be something else up in there but we've got what we came for which was Warning. the maximum depth ah! Hull damage imminent. I didn't move so we got what we came for so I think what I'll do is come back once uh, the Cyclops or uh, sea moth can go a little closer so let's head back to base there's a way over there Ah, beautiful home. Let's get up, pull up on here. Zimmer down, zimmer down. 
beautiful bird job. Welcome I do say so captain. myself. Thank you. So, oh man, I'm so excited. First off, let's see. Oh, actually, they'll probably both be in the habitat builder. So here's the moon pool. Titanium ingots, lubricant, and an advanced wiring kit. Okay, so the hard part will be that those ingots, um, that's 40 titanium, and I think right now we have, like, not that one. Yeah, so we have, like, eight. <laughs> so, uh, that's something I will do off screen is collect all of that for sure. And then, besides the moon pool, the other thing I'm super excited for is one, the bed. So we'll quickly grab that titanium and make one of those. Um, but this. The power cell charger, that's the sea moth and the cyclops battery, which is very low right now. I think it's less than 200 out of a thousand for its power in the cyclops. So this could not have come at a better time the modification station so it looks like we haven't finished unlocking that but that'll be super good to get to that's more modifications for myself the water filtration we we have the stuff for that let's do it <laughs> even got a spot for it right here Ooh. we'll have to keep a, keep an eye on it because if i recall this is quite the energy drain so we might have to pick it up uh, and wait until we have a better source of power, which would probably be be the bioreactor. I don't know the new this one or what it runs on. So the bioreactor is pretty easy to run, especially if you have two jelly rays that produce more jelly rays. For some reason, jelly rays really produce a lot of power. So. Uh, but for now, we want to work on the power cell charger. So, a computer chip and wiring kit. Computer chip and wiring kit. What do we need for souls? Computer chip is table coral and so. Well, I got this. Table coral. Boop. I don't got this. And then for wiring kit. <laughs> what do we got? Was it advanced or just a normal wiring? Uh, okay, so grab here, we get our silver. Up here. Wiring okay. kit. And then let's check again on this. Just a wiring kit. Some glass, computer chip. So we got all of that. So we need to go get ourselves a table coral. What? What? Well, simmer down. <laughs> Do you ever have those games where? What's down? Oh, mushrooms. Um. Do you ever have those games where it's like as you go through a load cell, it then faces you the other direction, so you continue walking forward, but it takes you back into where you just left. Sorry. Those are the worst. <laughs> you get stuck in this loop of going back and forth. Let's see. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> jump there. Would you all please return to where you belong? You belong not uh, in my area. So we're gonna grab some of this. Grab, grab, grab. Thank you. Yeah, you keep attacking my ship, please. Because at least you're not attacking me. Those are incredibly hard to catch. How's that treating you? Oh, it's. The <laughs> I thought it was a, a a biter that was attacking my ship, but apparently it's just an air bubble attacking my ship. So I saw this quartz here and here. We have quartz in the base, but I don't see why we wouldn't uh, grab these while we were right here, because we're gonna need glass for one of the things. So let's head back this way. God, they're everywhere too. I hear you biting at something. Woo! Did not intend to go there. Can I go down? 
Ah! Is it better? My keyboard keeps- I don't know if it's my keyboard, my gamers, or what, but somewhere along the line in this game I keep getting stuck going in a, like a specific direction. Like the other day I was stuck walking sideways and I had to like brace myself against some stairs so that I could stop moving. So yeah, I don't know where the uh, issue lies. There we go. Pop in here. So, and run up here and then... Do you see how my hands are stuck? It's because I had the um... God dang it. I came in with the C glide in my hands. But doing that fixes it. For now. Until they get it fixed. So, we got this. We need the Okay, so the glasses for this. Oh. My base should be in, um, standby. I should not be getting any air here. Ooh. You could become day, that would be good. So... I guess I will be waiting until daytime. <laughs> and we're back and getting some power. Uh, so... Let's see, we were about to make something, right? <laughs> a computer chip? A computer chip. Alright, so we need the... no, table coral. So two of these, that guy back. We needed hopefully only one silver and I think... quartz? Was it quartz? And here, and a computer chip. So we needed a computer chip, glass, a wiring kit, Oop. Let's see. I've crafted up that. That. And I thought I made up the glass. But I might have been wrong. I might have thought real hard about it. You don't belong in there. I see you in there, little salt. You belong in here. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so head and make ourselves some glass. And we should now be able to make uh, two titanium. Alright, so we'll have to break this down. Oof. I hate it when the UI ends up really close for whatever reason. It's hard to see stuff. Alright, so now we should have enough to make this guy. Which does not fit here. Oh, it fits on the glass though. Why do you no fit here? You were perfect right there. Did you see- oh. Oh, it can go up there! Can it? Ah, yeah. I can put it up there. Why not here? Would have been perfect. Ah. Let's see, let's break down the fabricator. Put this guy as far over as possible. Uh, it takes so much space. Hmm. Erm. Now I don't know where to put it. It can go so close to the ground. I wish it was, uh, more horizontal than it is. So if I put that there and then my fabricator Get it over just a little bit. Okay, so that looks like it works. We got our fabricator and the power cell, charger, and that guy. Sweet. If we open it up, we can charge two of them. So let's go grab these two. Oop. Nah, I won't do the sea moss yet. It's got some power. Cyclops, it's feeling a little low. Welcome I got aboard, gone Captain. ahead and turned off All the lights. Online. Excuse the sound. There we go. Looks like in one of the future updates they're going to be 
making it so there's an animation for crawling in and out and going up and down the stairs, so... I like it! Uh, I like that you don't just teleport, but it's not as convenient. I always joke with my boyfriend that there there's two two versions of you when it comes to gaming. There's the gamer self and the like real life you. Gamer self is not happy that I'm going to have to watch the animations go up and down. But real life me is like, yeah, you <laughs> it takes a minute to go up and down ladders. So I think that'll probably be it for this episode. Next episode will definitely be getting us a moon pool. I'm gonna see about sticking it off of this right here. Uh, ah! Nope. Sticking it off of this. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is it kind of shoots out the sea moth when it's done, like it when it drops it, kind of like the cyclops. And I'm worried that it might be too close to the ground and it might just like slam it into the ground. So we may need this uh, moon pool to be off of like this room or something coming out off of here. Let's actually, let's try, can we build the bed? No, but I think right here will be a good spot for it for now. So, um, until, if, actually, before I start that, um, if you're interested in the, when the next update is, check the description down below. Uh, the upload schedule is listed there. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.